Okay, so I'm gonna do lesson one with Naya because she actually doesn't know this trick. Um, I'm using Bill Jack Original Recipe Treats. I like these for this kind of stuff. Usually I use the small ones, the Little Jacks, but um, <laughs> one, they love Bill Jack, but Naya, stop. <laughs> but two, <laughs> They are very similar in size um, to, you know, a small pill. They're kind of bulky, so they're a nice option um, to work this. But anyways, they're also delicious. So the first step that I want to teach the dogs is to handle having their muzzle touched. So I'm gonna put these in my pocket because I don't want the food in my hand. So the first step, come here nice, so to see you sit, sit is I want her to be okay with me just cupping her muzzle. So, yes, good girl. Nah. <sighs> Gotta love dogs. So, yes, good girl. So she's had a little bit of muzzle cupping done because we've done chin rest. Uh -uh. So we've kind of done a little bit of that. So we're gonna move to the next step. So the next step is I wanna be able to muzzle and lift. Yes, good girl. Okay, so we're gonna muzzle, lift. Yes, good girl. Okay, sit. Muzzle, lift. Yes, good girl. Oh, oh I gotta get more. She's actually pretty good with this step, so I'll show you guys the next one. Ah, ah. We love these. Apparently it's like crack. Sit. Oh, yeah, good. Spin though. Come here. No, no. Sit. Thank you. So the next step is I'm going to do the open. So I don't put a word with this yet, so I'm just going to go like this. Yes. The moment she offers to open her mouth, I'm going to reward it. So I don't want to actually pull it. I want her to try to... Good girl. I'm gonna wait. Yes, good girl. I'm gonna mark the opening of the mouth. Sit. Sit. So my hands. I hold the lips. Yes, good girl. So you want to hold the lips up and then put your thumb right. There, so I lift and I put my thumb there. So as soon as she offers, so there's just a little bit of pressure. Yes, good girl. Sometimes you can stick your thumb in so that, you know, push towards the mouth to get a little bit more of a reaction. Good girl. Sit. Good. We love these treats. So lift. Yes, good girl. So when she starts to hold her mouth open a little bit better, I'll see if I could get one of these. Nope. Sit. When she's starting to get the idea and they're not quite so crazy about the treats, I have it in my hand. I'm gonna go open. Yes. And I'm gonna actually put the treat in her mouth and then close it while she eats it. I need a camera. I'm just gonna do this a couple more times. So it's in my hand, under the chin. Oh, nope, open. Oh gosh, now I calm down. Sorry, we're doing this a little fast. Uh -uh. Yes, good. In and close her mouth. Yes, 
Good girl. Good job. So, a couple things um, on when you're teaching them to do the pill is being able to get the pill in the right spot for them to swallow it. So, um, quick lesson is that the um, trachea and esophagus, so the air, the windpipe versus the route for the food are very, very close connected. The trachea is the, the lowest and the esophagus is the upper. This picture shows the trachea and esophagus a bit more clear. And so when you open their mouths, see if we can get this open. A lot of times you can't actually see holes, right? You just see the one giant throat. Yes, good boy. And it's very careful, or it's very important to not shove your treats or your pills down the wrong hole. So normally, as long as you can get it right where the tongue lip, it like where the tongue kind of shelves down into the throat, they will automatically go down the esophagus and not the trachea. If though they push their tongue forward, it could potentially expose the windpipe and you can push it down the wrong hole. Um, it's not very common, but it's possible and that's called aspiration. So we don't really want to do that. So when we sit, so when we do sit, so when we do the mouth opening, I want him to open his mouth and keep his tongue back. And I want to be able to stick my finger there, close it, and then say, yes, good boy. Because I want, I don't want to accidentally shove the pill or the treat down the wrong hole. So in this exercise, I'm just using my finger. He's very tolerant. Hey, buddy. Come on. You keep leaning forward. Sit. You. Relax. Sit. Sit. No. Sit. Thank you. I know I keep giving a stand command to my dogs. So anyway, so I'm going to go open. So he can open it. The next step is touch the back of the tongue. Yes boy. Once they'll let you do that, sit. then you can actually take your treat and hold it, right? Because they don't want to be able to take it out of your hand too prematurely because they'll know it's a pill. Uh -uh. So then I'm holding it open and you just pop that treat right down there and keep their mouth shut. You don't want them to be chewing afterwards. If they did, you didn't put it in the right spot. So this is a great way to make sure that if they do bite into it, they don't freak out and realize it's not what they want. So use treats. So I have it. Open. Roll it down. Oh, see, and I missed. <laughs> so this way it's not a negative experience for them. Let me try this again. Open. Yes, good boy. And if he does swallow it, I'll give him a second one just to reaffirm that he did the right job. So you always want to make sure that it stays very positive and happy. And we always start with treats. Yes. Yes. And eventually, once they get the hang of it, then they won't need such high value, but it's always good to follow up.